Here he is. Jesus. Call an ambulance. Ambulance? Out here? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Every role was important to us because everyone sort of has their own episode. And it's such an eclectic mix of people and characters that we were really looking for people who could add value to the comic moment and had that sort of like natural comic sensibility, but could ground a character and make people feel real. It's about a little town, population 11, and we're all rather weird. Uh, looking for a man, Hugo. Do you know him? Hi, uh, I'm looking for this man, Hugo. I was wondering if you could tell me about Hugo. Everyone is very close because it's such a small town. So everyone knows each other, like in a lot of small towns, everyone knows each other's business. Morning. I think that just intensifies with the mystery that's going on in the town as well. Hugo. Don't know any Hugos. What, really? In a, in a town of 12 people? Everybody's suspicious of each other. There's bitter rivalries. There's strange history between everybody. It's a lot of finger pointing and peeking through windows, which is which is one of the really interesting elements of the show. Am I a suspect in all this? In all what? Whatever this is, mate, you tell me. If you've seen the visual, which is a population sign, it says population 12, and that's crossed out. One of our townsfolk has gone missing. No one knows what has happened to him, where he's gone. It's hard to tell with Hugo because he's a, he's a wheeler dealer and Val was his other half. Beer? It's 10 a.m. Better make it two then, eh? Hugo is the wayward father of Andy. He deserted Andy when Andy was nine. Hugo's story is a bit of a secret, really, when it comes to the, the overall plots, but he has a fascination for UFOs and conspiracy theories. They are called the as young species. That's A-Z-Y-A-R-N from just beyond Kepler 1606. Noel Pincus is a lunatic. He's a narcissist. He wants to start his own micro-nation. You are Noel Pincus, general store owner and, and postmaster, right? I'm just getting a little personal. We don't even know each other, do we? It's just that it, it says it right there in the photo of you on the wall. Does it? He knows everything about the town and he's very suspicious of everybody, including outsiders, especially if they have American accents, because Americans always want something. Jimmy is a priest. He preaches at the pub, and that's where a good priest should be preaching. Jimmy, you're meant to be minding the bar for me. <laughs> How am I supposed to watch the bar when I'm taking confession? Charmaine lived in Bidjigood her whole life. She is someone that has always felt that she's a bit too good to live in Bidjigood, and yet somehow she's never quite found a way to leave. Do you know maybe when the last time it was you spoke with him, maybe he told you where he was going? Well, we don't speak if he must know. Oh, why is that? Because mom's a drama queen. Okay, stay out of it, Shoshana. Shoshana is like the youngest person in the town. She's the only kid. She's dealing with that about as well as you'd expect a child to deal with this. Okay, come on. Every small town has a bit of a village idiot, and that's Leon. Oh, I've seen him. Yeah, and not just the lights, like actual fully functional spacecrafts. You stick around here long enough, you fucking see him too. He likes recreational drugs, he likes sitting in air conditioning and silk boxes, watching probably reruns of Friends. Audrey, the pie lady, he's in love with and just desperately tries to get her to go on a date with him. You know, if I just hit you up. Because, you know, obviously we've been fucking hanging around with mates. Are we customer wait? Yeah, see you later. I think she would like to find love, but she takes her job very seriously. She's. Slightly humorless. Phrase camel toe. Oh, the whole toe, huh? I don't want to tell too much about Cedric, other than to say he's German. He does like things like taxidermy. Oh, well, we tried. <laughs> I thought you said he'd give us a tip. No, no, they usually do. Geraldine, she is the town sergeant. She has a unique approach to policing. Here's a little tip out here. Yeah. We drive on the left. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yes. Believe me, I, I'm don't still getting... Sh don't apologise. Just don't die. She's the authority in town, and um, she makes sure that people know it. Maureen. She's run away from a life that wasn't for her. Fell in love with this man, and they ran away to a small town. They do Airbnb. You need someone to crash, Moz and I would love to have you, OK? No worries. I'll very much keep that in mind. Thank you.
it's a great ensemble cast. Some of them I've worked with before, some of them I've always wanted to work with and now I've got to. Wall to all Australian icons, I felt very privileged to be working with them. Each and every one of them is one of those actors that makes you better when you're in a scene with them. We got Kung Pao Camel, Braised Beef and Black Bean, Mongolian Rue. Yeah, any plain ones? Anything that's not racist? I'll give it a rest, Charmaine. I bought that restaurant off your parents fair and square. You didn't even want it. Luckily they're no longer here to see what you've done to the place. Oh, well I've treated it a bit better than you've treated the caravan park. 